Joshua 4, Moonwalking with Einstein, The Art and Science of Remembering Everything. Step into the world of Moonwalking with Einstein by Joshua 4 and discover the art and science behind the extraordinary human memory. Do you often wonder how some people can remember names, facts, or numbers so easily? In this summary, we delve into various strategies and techniques for enhancing memory, including the phonological loop method, chunking, as well as the importance of becoming an expert in the subject area. Be captivated as you explore the intriguing connection between reading and memory decline, and learn how you can use powerful memory aids like elaborative encoding and memory palaces to store and recall all types of information better. Prepare to unlock the immense potential of your mind as you embark on this mind-enhancing journey. Master your memory. Anyone can improve their memory using the phonological loop or by becoming an expert in a particular field. The key is to use memory creatively rather than memorizing by rote. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to have a talent for remembering names or facts? Good news. Improving your memory is not a talent that you're either born with or without. This book explains the creative use of memory to help you discover your full cognitive potential. The phonological loop method is one way to improve your memory. The method is simple, repeat the things you need to remember to yourself. In a classic experiment, psychologist K. A. Erickson and colleague Bill Chase trained an undergraduate named S.F. with digits to improve his memory retention. At first, S.F. could only retain about seven items in his phonological loop. After 250 hours of practice, however, he was able to increase his memory by a factor of 10. Apart from the phonological loop method, the book cites research on how becoming an expert in a particular field can expand your memory for that field. For example, expert chess players have what's called chess memory. This ability enables them to see the chessboard differently than less experienced players, organizing the board's individual pieces into larger pieces. By developing this skill, their memory for the game improved dramatically, despite no noticeable difference in their cognitive abilities apart from their chess expertise. In conclusion, mastering your memory isn't just about memorizing things by rote. By using your memory creatively, you can unlock your full potential. Memory Tricks Our brains can only remember 5 to 9 pieces of information, but we can use chunking and elaborative encoding to improve memory capacity. Chunking means combining information into bigger pieces that are easier to remember. Elaborative encoding is making information as vivid as possible. Using our senses and imagination, we can remember things better. For example, to remember a shopping list of pickles, cottage cheese and salmon, visualize a glass of pickles on a bedside table next to a tub of smelly cottage cheese in which a person is bathing with a salmon. The Power of Unconscious Memory In the book summary, the author explores the concept of unconscious memory through the case of an amnesiac named E.P. Despite his inability to recall new information, he was able to unconsciously remember words that had been presented to him before. This ability is not unique to EP, as all of us have non-declarative memories that are stored in our brains, such as those required for tasks like biking or swimming. We also have declarative memories that we actively recall, such as the color of our car. To have a proper working memory, we need to be able to utilize both our non-declarative and declarative memories. The Power of Remembering in earlier times, memorization was an essential skill as it was the only way to pass on knowledge and cultural heritage. The ancient Greeks used minstrels and bards to remember and pass on important myths and tales. The Latin rhetoric textbook Rhetorica ad Herennium authored anonymously between approximately 86 and 82 BC recorded the known methods for expanding memory like elaborative encoding. In pre-book times, having a precise memory was vital, and great figures were often described as people of great memory, too. However, with the mass production of books, the need for memorization dwindled. Memory and the Rise of Books The decline in the importance of human memory is intricately linked to the advent of books. Before books, scriptures were used as a reminder of facts already known. 
Reading was frowned upon, and philosophers like Socrates believed it would lead to forgetfulness and moral decline. However, with the invention of the printing press in 1440, books became more accessible, leading to an increase in reading. As a result, the art of memory declined, and people relied on storing information in books. Nowadays, we heavily rely on external storage like books, the internet, and smartphones, but this has resulted in a vicious cycle of recording and forgetting. Many of us struggle to remember, even though we store information externally. Memory Techniques for Better Learning Discover the importance of memory techniques in enhancing educational achievement. Rote memorization may not be enough. The talented 10th program by history teacher Raymond Matthews teaches memory techniques to students with a low socioeconomic status and high dropout rate. As a result, the students not only improve their memory but also perform better in school. Psychologist William James' study shows that rote memorization weakens one's ability to memorize the second text. Therefore, it's essential to learn the right techniques to develop our memory and achieve academic success. Memory Hacks for Names Our brains favor memorable facts in memorization, thus making abstract names more memorable by making them vivid triggers a whole network of associations. The best way to remember a new name is to associate it with a vivid image. Do you find it challenging to remember a new name at a party? This is because our brains favor impressive facts when it comes to memorization. Researchers have found that making abstract names more memorable for our brains entails associating them with vivid images. Take the Baker slash Baker paradox as an example. Two people were shown an identical picture of a man, and one was told his last name is Baker, while the other was told he works as a baker. A week later, the same picture was shown to them, and they were asked to recall the information given to them earlier. The person who was told about the man's occupation as a baker was more likely to remember his job than the other person who was only told his surname. This happens because we remember things in the context of a larger network of associations. Therefore, it is best to associate a name with a vivid image to make it easier to recall. For instance, one could remember Ronald Reagan by visualizing Donald Duck holding a ray gun, Reagan. Such images trigger a more massive network of associations in our memory, making them easier to remember than simple names. Thus, the next time you need to learn a new name, try associating the sound of the person's name with a vivid image. Remembering poetry made simple. Memorizing poems and speeches can be daunting. German memory artist, Gunther Karsten suggests visualizing images or puns, while mental athlete Karina Draschel assigns emotions to remember passages. Karsten constantly creates an alphabet of images, with puns that are either sexual or funny because these are the types of images that our brain remembers best. Drashel instead uses emotions to break down poems into small chunks. This method assigns distinct feelings to each small segment, making the words less abstract and connecting them into a continuous stream of emotion that is easier to memorize. To remember whole passages, Karsten visualizes similar-sounding words, or puns, in place of abstract terms. He might use a circle to represent the word and, and imagines hammering a nail when the text has a period. Simple and useful, these methods can be implemented by anyone to impress their loved ones with the knowledge of memorized verses. Building a Memory Palace The Memory Palace technique, also known as the method of loci, utilizes familiar locations to store and retrieve information effectively. To use this method, one needs to mentally place images of things they want to remember at specific points along a familiar route or place. The key is to utilize the brain's visual memory of locations to recall information. Multiple memory palaces can be created, making it effective for storing and retrieving data from different fields of expertise. In conclusion, Moonwalking with Einstein offers amazing insights into the fascinating world of memory, and demonstrates that the key to improving memory lies in embracing powerful techniques and strategies. As you complete this summary, you will have unraveled the mysteries of the phonological loop method, chunking, and the importance of expertise in a particular subject area. 
You will have also pondered upon the relationship between reading and memory decline and have discovered powerful memory aids, like elaborative encoding and memory palaces. With all this newfound knowledge at your disposal, you are now better equipped to transform your memory and unleash the dormant powers of your brilliant mind.